Before we embark on this cosmic journey, ensure you're part of our community by subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications. You wouldn't want to miss our future explorations. Now let's harness our curiosity and begin our journey through the cosmos. Imagine the solar system as a cosmic car cruising along the galactic highway that is the Milky Way. This is not a leisurely Sunday drive, mind you. The solar system is constantly on the move, zipping through space at an average speed of 828,000 kilometers per hour. That's about 200 times the speed of the fastest car in the world, the Bugatti Chiron Supersport. But where are we headed, you may ask? We're on a never-ending journey around the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. This orbital dance is not a quick spin around the block. It's a journey that takes us about 225 million years to complete. We call this period a galactic year. To give you a sense of this enormous timescale, let's take a trip down memory lane. The last time we were in our current position, dinosaurs were just beginning their reign on Earth. The continents were huddled together in a supercontinent called Pangaea, and the first flowering plants were starting to bloom. That's right. The entire history of human civilization has unfolded in less than a fraction of a galactic year. Our journey doesn't stop there. The Milky Way is a vast and sprawling galaxy with a diameter of about 100,000 light years. To cross it at the speed we're moving would take us about 2 billion years. And where are we in this grand cosmic journey? We're situated in one of the galaxy's spiral arms, about 26,000 light years from the center. Our neighborhood is known as the Orion Arm, a minor spiral arm located between two major ones, the Sagittarius and Perseus Arms. So if you're counting, the last time we were in this spot, dinosaurs were just starting to roam the Earth. This perspective underscores the immense scale of our galaxy and the vastness of time, reminding us of our tiny yet significant place in the cosmos. In the grand scheme of the universe, human existence is but a blink. Now let's pause for a moment and contemplate the enormity of that statement. The universe is an ancient entity, its age stretching back over 13 billion years. Our solar system, merely a youngster in comparison, has been in existence for about four and a half billion years. Yet humans, the species with the audacity to reach for the stars, have only been around for a fraction of this time. In fact, if we were to compress the entire history of the universe into a single year, the entire span of human history would barely fit into the last seconds of December 31st. Now, if we consider the galactic year, which is the time our solar system takes to orbit the center of the Milky Way, approximately 225 million Earth years, humanity's existence is even more fleeting. We've been around for a mere 200,000 years. That's not even one hundredth of a galactic year. Our entire recorded history from the invention of writing to the present day, spans less than 6,000 years. In terms of a galactic year, that's less than three seconds. Let's put it another way. If all of time from the Big Bang to now were represented as a 24-hour day, human history would be shorter than the time it takes for a single heartbeat. So what does this tell us? It tells us that in the grand cosmic clock, we are infants. The universe was here long before us and will, in all likelihood, continue long after we're gone. Yet here we are, a tiny speck on a small planet, in an average solar system, located in an unremarkable corner of a vast galaxy, among billions of other galaxies, daring to understand the universe and our place in it. In the cosmic timescale, we are newcomers, barely having taken our first steps in the universe. Our galactic home, the Milky Way, is a sprawling cosmic city of stars, Picture this, a celestial metropolis that stretches across a staggering 100,000 light years. Yes, you heard that right. Our galaxy is so vast that even light, traveling at approximately 300,000 kilometers per second, would need 100,000 years to cross it from one end to the other. Imagine standing at one edge of the Milky Way and shining a beam of light across its expanse. The light will journey past billions of stars, each with their own unique stories, possibly their own planets and life forms, before it reaches the other side. A hundred thousand years later, that is. The scale is truly mind-boggling, isn't it? Now where do we fit into this cosmic landscape? Our solar system, with Earth as our home, 
is nestled within the Orion arm of the Milky Way. We're situated about 26,000 light years from the galactic center. To put that into perspective, if the Milky Way were a city, we'd be living in the suburbs, a fair distance away from the bustling downtown. But even within our own neighborhood, the distances are unimaginably vast. Our closest star, Proxima Centauri, is 4.2 light years away. That means even if we could travel at the speed of light, it would still take us over four years to reach it. Now remember that our galaxy is filled with hundreds of billions of such stars, many much further away. Makes you realize how tiny our Earth, our solar system, and indeed, we ourselves are, doesn't it? In this vast cosmic city, our home planet is nothing more than a speck of dust. But as we'll see in the next scene, even this tiny speck has a significant place in the grand scheme of the cosmos. Stay tuned to find out more.